Invite a Budget Blind Style Consultant to show you how to transform your rooms just by changing your window coverings. Canada's number one choice for window coverings. Visit budgetblinds.ca today. And Moses joins us for a first look at sports on a desk. And now there's optimism around the Lakeland Rustlers women's basketball team. And as there should be, this is a team, if you remember last season, setting a program record of finishing with 20 wins and making it to the bronze medal game. They didn't win. Top four finish, not too bad. And of course, this year, it's making everyone eager to get a head start on the new season. The season may be two months away, but head coach Chris King wants to get a jump on the new season. This is get in shape week, basically. Um, for me, just kind of seeing where we're standing. We have 10 girls in right now. Two are kind of doing training with residents, but uh, we get a few good practices in, then do a little team retreat, and then next week continue with our conditioning. The wrestlers have four new faces on the roster, including transfers from south of the border. The first day was not too bad. I mean, I see myself compare it with all these other girls on the team so I mean it's a big change as far as like switching from US out here but I think it's going to be a good year. The girls are awesome I you know it's easy transition because they're very welcoming and you know help you out a lot. The gym I'm a little out of shape but I'm ready I'm ready for season I'm ready for the team I see we're going to have a pretty good squad this year. A team that has key returnees like Tori Dugan. The Aussie had an outstanding first year and will look to build on that this season. Last year I was like adjusting to the culture, homesickness, and obviously I didn't know all the girls. So like just to come back in and feel right back at home, I guess. Yeah, it's been really good. And so I'm ex expecting a big year. I uh, worked hard in the off season and yeah, obviously coach, is, expects, coach expects a lot out of us. We're hoping she can stay healthy for us. She was huge. Uh, and then obviously we have fifth year Cameo McCurley, who's been a conference all-star for three years. And then our second years, all those big six footers now are a little bit older and hopefully they can dominate inside like they did at the end of last year. So we kind of got the, the whole picture together right now as long as everyone stays healthy. To hockey now, and the Lloyd Mr. Bobcats begin their first preseason tilt Thursday in Bonneville. Now the coaches had a chance to see what they're working with as they hosted their annual inter-squad game. It was a really high-paced game. Uh, all the coaches were impressed with it. Um, I think uh, you can see our vets have put in uh, the work this this summer and and realize that this isn't uh, this isn't just because they were on the team last year doesn't mean that they they have an automatic uh, onto this team this year and it'll be exciting to see as the guys kind of have some time together and to develop some chemistry amongst different line mates and combinations and stuff so uh, it's shaping up to be a, an exciting season. And, 40 players made it out to Maine training camp for the Inter-Squad game Monday following or allowing the boys to get a taste of their first real action on the ice over the last few months. But now the team will look at the numbers and figure out who goes and who stays before their first preseason game. It's important to start getting down in numbers with, uh, you know, the time is kind of creeping away even though it's just started. We've got a lot of work to do and um, the more bodies we have, the, the less... You know, not necessarily one-on-one -on -one instruction, but uh, the more bodies out there, the tougher it is to get down into to game day practices and stuff like that. So, um, you know, eventually we got to make a team out of this, so we might as well start, uh, you know, getting closer to that number. Well, the Bobcats might be idle. The AJHL preseason officially gets underway tonight for the Bonneville Pontiacs, who are hosting the White Court Wolverines. The Yaks looking to get uh, back at it coming off their best season to date in franchise history last year. Puck drops at 7.30 at RJ Lalonde. We'll have the score for you tonight on our Late Night Cast.